people, my name's Marcus and I run Pananora Plug and today I'm going to show you how to legit check Stone Island. So the first port of call when checking Stone Island would be the Certi logo. Um, the Certi logo is essentially just a QR code which you can scan into the website and it'll give you an answer there and then. The first thing that I look at on a Certi logo without even scanning it is this L here. So where it says Certi logo, the bottom of the L should have a kink in it. And if it's completely straight, then it will scan as fake on the website. So Certi logos were introduced in 2013, 14, and recently they've actually changed shape. So last season, the shape of the Certi logo in itself changed. Um, I'll show you what a modern one looks like now compared to a modern fake as well. So last week I bought this piece off Depop. There's not too many recent Certi logo fake items about, so I didn't even bother scanning it to check first. I just bought it and thought I'd check it when it arrived. And it actually turns out that it's not real. The, the tag itself is the wrong shape, the fonts are off. And also it's quite strange for a tag like this to actually come dyed in this color. The material of real Certi logos isn't cotton, so it shouldn't take to dye. So the fact that this one is green is obviously a red flag in itself and you can tell it's super faded, despite the, the item being less than a year old. So this is a fake Certi logo. And the way that I, I could tell was, obviously I scanned it into the website, certilogo.co.uk, and it gave me a fake report. Certi logos are pretty bulletproof. If it comes up as fake, it is fake. If it yeah. comes up as real, it's a real tag. The only thing that can happen is if someone replaces a fake tag with a real one, but that's, you can't really avoid that. And it's just about checking that the stitching on the inside here is clean and crisp and that the art number under here matches to the right item in terms of the season and the type of item it is. You can get items like this, which have had the Certi logo cut out. Certain retailers, which are gray market sellers, aren't authorized by Stone Island to sell items with the Certi logos. So it's essentially to avoid the supplier being tracked back. Now, it's pretty hard to say. The only other way of telling an item, if an item's real or not without the Certi logo is obviously checking the badge and the inside neck tag stitching and things like that, which we'll get onto. But as a rule of thumb, if it's got the Certi logo cut and there's no receipt from a grey market seller, it's something that I avoid massively because the resale potential for it is minimised and it is genuinely really hard to tell. A real one. It's obviously a lot more clean and crisp like that it's a bigger spacing here the last one was obviously really close to the stitching and then they also come with this tag there which the other one didn't and obviously when this piece arrived i scanned it into the website because the the best fakers like top stony have started replicating the new certi logo tags already so this is a pair of old school combat pants, pre Certi logo. And these obviously come with an art number. So Certi logo pieces do come with an art number, but it's underneath the Certi tag. And the Art Checker website can identify what season it's from and what item type it is. So it'll say like sweatshirts, autumn, winter, whatever year. Um, but pre Certi logo just had an art tag like this, which says like the material composition and then obviously has this, which you can then put into um, the website and see what year it is and what item type. In terms of dyed tags, you get certain pieces like this one here. So like a dust treatment crew neck where they're all like individually dyed. This one will have a dyed back tag, but the front Certi logo obviously remains intact because it's not actually made of cotton and the only thing that will really take to dye like that is cotton. So another way to check if an item is real or not is the buttons. Um, so on fake items, especially old Rasso Gamato jackets, the buttonhole inserts where the stitching goes through is circular. So on this, you can see it's sort of like a triangle that cuts out and sweeps up. Um, whereas with the old fake ones and some more recent fakes as well, there's four little circles, which um, 
which are always fake and you're never going to have fake buttons on a real item it's always going to be the other way around and obviously again some people can put real buttons on fake items but typically that's a good way to quickly check without having to scan a certain logo or go into greater detail about things so one thing to note is there's not really any way of proving an item's real just from the neck tag certain items do just have stitching here and here and then certain items have made in romania tags made in china tags stone island has been and, and still is made all around the world. Obviously it used to be exclusively Italy, but in recent years, a lot of Eastern European countries and China have started manufacturing it. So this inside neck tag, there's no real way of telling. And also if you wanted to fake an item, you would just take this off and then stitch it in a better way if it was done really poorly. YKK are the biggest manufacturers and distributors of zips in the world. But one thing to note is Stone Island pieces, post Certi logo, and for a while before that as well, always use YKK zips. Years ago, in the Green Edge era, they used Lampo zips, which had like a, a, a V sort of going down it, and they were chunkier zips, but more modern pieces are all YKK zips. So I've got a couple of badges here. Um, if you want to pause the video and comment, which one you think is real out of the three, let us know. Um, one is real and two are fake. So have a little look. Number one, number two and number three. Have a little comment down below. But basically number two and three are both fake and one is real. Now number three is an old school fake. So I'd say the main ways of telling are the text here is too dark it's like a really dark green but it should be a little bit brighter and also this sort of fluffy material it doesn't really go like that when it's been washed it should stay quite plush um, badges if they've been washed typically just lose color they don't really fluff up like this and then on the back side of it you can see that the stitching is quite shoddy and it's got a lot of black stitching which is obviously genuine for green edge badges but fake for more modern ones um, this one in the middle is sort of the other way around, as in like the yellow here is almost like fluorescent yellow. Um, and it's super square with really thick edges. It's quite obvious that one. And then the button insert stitching is super straight here and thick. So that's one thing I'd say. Um, with those two, they're obviously very different badges, but both fake. And then you've got a real one here. So one of the ways of telling, which a lot of people already know about is the drop stitch at the top so there'll be a little stitch line there green edge pieces were rarely faked back in the day because obviously stone island has become more prevalent and and better known in recent years so back in the day you know like gucci and louis vuitton were faked a lot more heavily there was more money in it so there aren't as many fake green edge pieces about but Green Edge badges are faked a lot because of their value. So a Green Edge badge nowadays can go for anything between 30 to 50 quid. And with that, a lot of manufacturers are selling fake badges. The most obvious way to tell a fake Green Edge badge, so this is a real one. Usually fake ones have quite a bright green around the edge. So it should be color matched to the inside Stone Island lettering here, the cut the color of it. Whereas the fakes often have like a really bright sort of electric green on the outside, almost like in between that and that. So it's proper bright. And then on the back is the most obvious way of telling. So throughout all of the stitching here, there should be black stitching. So on a green edge badge, on an old school green edge badge, one of the most obvious ways of telling is um, they have black stitching running through them if they're real. And then the fake ones have white stitching. So you'll be able to see that instantly, like um, on a more modern badge like that, we've got white stitching running through it. And then on an old school real one, it's always black stitching. And there are a lot of fake green edge badges out there. I'd say there's probably more fake ones than real ones just because people, you know, it adds a lot of value to a piece when you, when you don't have a badge versus do. And you can pick them up online for 10, 15 quid and a lot of people assume they are real. So you can buy green edge badges, which are real online, 
yeah, it's a very like treacherous thing to get into because they are high value and there's a lot of fakes out there. But typically there'll be people that years ago had spares and they just kept them in their wardrobe for years and years. If you've got an item that's ripped to pieces from like wearing it to football back in the day, sometimes people will just sell the badge to try and get a bit of money back, but they are quite rare to find for anything under 30 to 50 pounds. When it comes to buying badges, I'd say the main thing is always look for used badges. Unless you've got a really reputable source, used badges typically are more likely to be real. When you see someone selling a brand new badge with the buttons for 20 quid or 15 quid, it, it just screams red flags. If you've got someone that's got good feedback and they've got a couple of bits of Stone Island on their page that are genuine and they're selling a few spare badges that are used and old, that's always a good sign in my eyes. I get asked a lot about people that have got, that have been sent badges in the post and they're like 10 to 12 quid and they message me saying, oh, does this look real? And like the saying, you know, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Like it, these badges don't pop up for anything under 25 pound for regular, 30 to 50 for green edge. So if you're looking at ones on Depop that are brand new with buttons and the seller's got 50 badges, it's obviously too good to be true. And they're just gonna be fake badges. So, Here's a listing that I found online on Depop, and this is actually a sold listing, 180 pound jacket, which wasn't real. Um, at first, like I said, the buttonhole inserts are just four small circular holes, as opposed to sort of the, the triangular ridges, which I spoke about earlier. That was the first red flag for me that I saw. The badge itself looks all right, so likely they've put a real badge on the item to disguise the fact it's not real. And these items here, the Rasso Gamato jackets, are one of, if not the most faked Stone Island piece ever. Um, so they were produced for years and years, and during the period that they were produced, uh, fake manufacturers got hold of samples and pieces and, and basically released a lot of fake jackets into the market. And like I said earlier, I still get people bringing me a jacket that they bought 15 years ago of these types that end up not being real. Thank you all for watching. If you're into your designer, clothes, shoes, bags, everything, check out our Instagrams, Paninara Plug and Trust Archive. We're happy to answer any questions, queries you have.